Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa's Paper Passion. Wanted to show you a quick tutorial on a folded card. And I'm not sure exactly what they're called. Pop-up cards, folded cards, but um, I was inspired by some videos that I watched on YouTube, of course. And this is actual card that I made and I couldn't figure out how the person did the binding but it ends up to be actually just a card just a, a plain card and the one that I made was a little bit bigger than the the length sorry the length of the card that I made if that makes sense so I actually had to um, see how this one is, is taller than the actual card from Michael, so I just took some black cardstock, folded it in half, and uh, made it to measure the width of the pop up and then the height of the pop up. And I'll explain to you right now. But anyway, I really liked it and I thought it was really pretty. I'm actually wanting to make one um, to use like a little purse to put like a handle, kind of like this, and to use it like a little purse gift card. So um, I'm going to show you the basics real quick of how to make it and it took me a while to figure out because I'm not, the, the instructions that I was watching was on a website and it was, um, you know, I'm more of a visual person and I need to see someone do it and so I'm hoping this helps others of you and so this is kind of my sample. So basically the size that I used was 8x8. Eight um, I've seen the bigger sizes and I just, you know, I think this is more of a manageable size for a card. The 12 by 12 came out really big, I'll show you. This is the 12 by 12 size and it's really huge. For a card, you know, I just thought that, you know, usually you don't get a card this big. Um, so, anyway, here we go. Okay, so here's my 8 by 8 sheet. And the, the, the piece that I want to show on the inside um, is right here, this side. I want the white or, you know, you can actually do this with double sided too. But anyway, so we'll start just to kind of make it simple. So this is my startup piece. So the piece that I want to show on the inside right here, I want on the outside when I make my first fold. Okay, so first step is to fold this in half and you could use your scoreboard if you want to. So this is nine by, by nine, so basically it would be four and a half. Okay, so here we go, step one. Kind of following my template. Okay, so the second thing we wanna do is take this and make two folds this way. So two folds this way. Okay. So here's my first fold. And you kind of just have it meet up right here evenly. See that even? And use your bone folder to have a good flat edge. And then now I'm going to do the other side. Here, I'll do it this way so you won't get confused. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so this is what you're going to end up with, okay, just to make sure I'm the same as the one on my sample, so we're at the same. Okay, so now what we're going to do is to open it up, okay, so we were this way, just open it up, okay. Now we're gonna have, we're gonna fold this side and to meet in the middle, and this side to, feet, to fold and meet in the middle. So this is what we have, or we're gonna fold like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn mine on the side right here, and I can kinda tell where they meet in the middle right here. And believe me, it took me like three or four times to do this before the light bulb came on. So. That's why I wanted to make this video, and I'm sure there's a million out there, but just for me to kind of walk the process through with you guys. Okay. Now, so this is what we have. Okay. 
this is back to how we want it. Now you see these corners right here? One, two, three, four. Well, if you fold up what you have so far, this is what you have, right? So you basically take this thing that's folded on this side and have these two middle ones meet. So this is what you end up with. But this is what we want. We want the corners bent in. So that is the reason why we made these folds on the side. It's so that these two intersecting lines is our corner. Okay, so when you're using busy paper like this, it's kind of hard to tell where the corners are. So I kind of came up with a little trick myself. And, you know, you could do it however way you want to do it. And I'm looking for my little poker, of course, that I can't find at this second. Because when you need it, you can't find it. And, oh, here it is. Sorry for all that noise. <laughs> okay, so see where this line meets this line where we folded? I kind of give it a little poke. This line where this line meets. Just a little tiny poke. And again, there's probably a better way to do this out there. But no one's going to really see your poke. And so this line meets this line. Give it a little poke. And the reason why I'm doing this, again, hold your paper this way. Okay, and again, once you push these two pieces together, this is what you want, right? The answer is yes. Okay, so this is the corner that you're going to be putting in this way, right? So this way. And I just realized you don't actually need to do the poker, but you can still if you want to. But So you want to fold the corners inside. Okay, so fold the corners inside. Make a good crease. Fold the corner to your little poke line. Make a good crease. Corner into your poke line. It sounds funny saying it a few times. Okay, I'm trying to pull this close to the camera so everybody could see what I'm doing. Okay, almost done. Okay, so hold it again to the side where you can fold it. That's important because if you try to do it this way, it's not going to work. So these two corners meet. Flatten it out. Ta da! It really doesn't matter which one's front, which one's back. But as far as if you have double sided paper, it does matter how you fold it. So always think when you start, the pattern that you want to see on the inside, it's kind of weird backwards. It's going to be on the outside when you first begin doing your folds. If this doesn't make sense, rewind to the beginning. But anyway, as far as the one we just made, Okay, so there's what we have so far. And at this point, when I made this, this card upside down, I just basically took the inside piece, and like I said, I put a I took a cardstock that was tall enough, like this, and I, I kind of want this, see how it's black, so you don't want it like right at the edge, but you know, give it like a maybe a, you know an eighth of an inch or so when you do it. So obviously this is too big. So what I did is I just glued one side down, cut off the access. Actually, I cut off the access first, measured it to see how much I needed, glued one side down just like this. And if you want to put ribbon um, at this point, you could put ribbon so that the ribbon goes right here, right in there. Okay, and then, then I just took more glue, put it on top, and then put this right on top so it dries like this. Okay, again, the one I used was a taller piece because I didn't want this edge sticking out. And let me measure the cardstock for you of what I used. This is, I know my ruler's clear, you can't really tell. This is six and three quarters. By four and a half. Okay, so that's the card 
size cardstock that I use and I rounded my corners and that fit perfectly in there and I just I love this paper I got it from Michaels for a penny can you believe that it was when they had the sometimes when they have the penny by mistake the penny papers but anyway so that's how you do it um, I, you know on one of the samples that I made I was trying to play around with these I actually glued two together it looks like a peacock, huh? It's kind of weird. This is some graphic 45 paper that I had. So that's like a little mini book using two of them. And I started to do the outside part, but then realized that, that I don't know if I really want to finish this one. But that's where I got the 9x9 nine nine idea from. So you can make one of these two. It's really easy once you get the hang of folding them. That's, that's the secret. After you do a couple, uh, try one on a random piece of 8x8. Eight uh, I tried to use 10 by 10, but the folds didn't come out right, and it looked kind of funky. So 12 by 12 will work if you like the larger size. Um, this is, I think this was 8 by 8, this size, but this, this was, like I said, way too small for my purposes. Um, what else was I going to say? So yeah, this was 8 by 8. And then this one was 9x9. Nine nine. You could see the difference of it. And then let me put the 12x12s 12 12 next to it so you guys can have an idea. See? It's like... Okay? So anyway, have fun. Bye!